continue our conversation now uh, and joining us to continue discussing Trump's plea of not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records, West Virginia Congressman and member of the Financial Services Committee, Congressman Alex Mooney. Uh, Congressman, great to have you with us here. Uh, your reaction to what we saw yesterday, particularly to President Trump, the former president, and his speech following the arraignment. Well, I think the president did a great job. The only thing he could do, which is fight back and, and decry the travesty of justice here and the misapplication of the law. <clears throat> Clearly, this is done for political reasons. Uh, some prosecutors, like this essentially corrupt district attorney in Manhattan, wants to treat Republicans differently than Democrats. And that's a travesty for this country. Now, that's what third world countries do, try to lock up their political opposition and, and come up with bogus charges. I think it's worth noting that the previous two district attorneys in New York refused to bring this case because the one said it was postponed indefinitely because there's no merit to it. This is clearly done for political reasons. And, you know, as a member of Congress, financial services, and just and, and someone who oversees the spending of this country, I agree with many of my colleagues who are calling for a review of what kind of funding, what kind of taxpayer dollars are given to these kind of witch hunt type of district attorneys who would rather do political uh, stunts than uh, deal with actual crime in their city. I wanted to ask you about the uh, Club for Growth PAC. Uh, that PAC has endorsed you in West Virginia's U.S. Senate race. Uh, give me your feeling about that. Well, yeah, I, I'm very grateful for their endorsement. Um, I'm the only candidate in the race right now for the U.S. Senate to defeat Democrat Joe Manchin, who voted to impeach Donald Trump twice in a similar type of witch hunt scenario. Uh, we've got to get the voters of this country have to return to power to those of us who believe in freedom and rule of law. And, and the Club for Growth has always been a leader in fiscal responsibility and defending our freedoms from COVID lockdowns and limited government and no, no abuse of powers, which we're seeing more and more of than ever before the last few years under Biden's presidency. So I'm, I'm very pleased. That's a huge endorsement from the Club for Growth. And I think it boosts my chances greatly. Congressman, how are West Virginians reacting to what the former president is going through? Does it change the way that you anticipate they will vote, say, in the 2024 primary? Yeah, West Virginians, uh, you know, support Donald Trump, and even more so now. Even those who may have been unsure now support Donald Trump more than ever before. And frankly, I don't know if, if the left, uh, you know, understands the reactions they're going to get. And it's not just President Trump. Up and down the ballot, I think you're seeing people who understand the rule of law and don't like this abuse of power. Because this isn't just about Donald Trump. If they can do this to President Donald Trump, they can do this to my constituents. To anybody in West Virginia can be witch hunted like this. You are not safe if this is the way your government's going to treat you. And we saw that a lot of that during the pressure to vaccinate people who may have chose not to. Uh, the free speech, you know, being banned from, from Twitter and things like that. We in this country have seen our freedoms and are just our rights to have different points of view be attacked. And now the, I think the message that West Virginians understand, and I think a lot of Americans, is you're not safe under a one-party Democrat rule system. You're not safe with DAs like this who want to witch hunt after a Republican. This is a Republican president. They'll do this to any Republican in the country. And it's a real concern. Congressman, uh, remind people how, what percentage of West Virginians voted for Mr. Trump in the last election. So, so, yeah, President Trump won my state both times, twice, by 40 percentage points, approximately 70 percent to 30. So, for example, when Joe Manchin voted to impeach Donald Trump, he was essentially voting to, ne to negate the election results. And now this DA who's going after President Trump, what he's trying to do is stop the man from becoming president again. They are so afraid of a conservative person being president, someone who will fight them, someone who will call them out, as President Trump did for four years, with my support and many others. They're so afraid of people fighting back that they're cheating. Uh -huh. uh, they're, trying to, they're trying to use these witch hunt legal tactics. All right, Congressman Alex Mooney, thank you so much for joining us, sir. You're welcome.